the University of Khartoum is the oldest university in Sudan. It has a lot of faculties and these include the Faculty of Science. This documentary is on the Science Faculty which consists of the departments of Biology, Botany, Chemistry, Physics and Zoology. The faculty also has well-equipped laboratories as well as library which is open to the general public. Uh, my department has six disciplines, one of uh, biochemistry and physiology, uh, genetics and molecular biology, parasitology, entomology, fisheries and advanced ecology. My department is uh, graduating around uh, maybe 60 students every year and these students usually uh, some of them, they get scholarships to go abroad for doing higher degrees. Others uh, are, uh, get uh, positions here uh, in the country to do research in the different disciplines. And uh, some of them go to the higher school to have positions over there. And uh, from my department, uh, we have two ministers of higher education. And uh, my department also have uh, two master programs, one of genetics and molecular biology, one of uh, uh, medical entomology and vector control. And these uh, two masters are, has a high number of students from different universities. They like to join these master's degrees. We have uh, around three lab, uh, research laboratories, one mainly for, to do research in fisheries. We have a Lishmania Research Laboratory and we have a center of excellency which serves research in, uh, in uh, physiology, biochemistry, and genetics. Usually people can contribute to conferences or they try to publish their work. Uh, to be honest, yeah, we are graduating you know, students with high quality research and high, uh, uh, high quality teaching. Okay? So uh, as a person, uh, and to you know, take my personal experience. I have been in Cambridge University to do an MPhil degree and I, my thesis passed with very, very minor corrections. And even when I went to do my PhD in, in Dublin in UCD, also my PhD passed with very minor corrections. Because really in this department we have been, yeah, we have, yeah, and we have been trained very well, okay, and that's what we are doing for our students. So whenever they apply, they just get the position. We have different uh, multidisciplinary research is going on here. Uh, we have some people collaborating with, uh, with the people in the Institute of Endemic Diseases, okay? And some are, uh, are collaborating with people from Germany, from uh, Norway, okay? We have collaborators from Germany, from Norway, and uh, China, we have, okay? And we are now, uh, now uh, nowadays we have around six students, uh, six uh, teaching assistants are doing their PhD abroad as collaboration. And we and we have a number of students who are getting a number of uh, staff are getting uh, that scholarships, and they are doing research abroad. We have two master degree going in my department. We need to have uh, other programs in the other disciplines and also to have uh, uh, other multidisciplinary research in my department. And also we need to have a good, uh, excellent research laboratories with all the facilities so that instead of the students go abroad, they can do all the research in the site. Faculty of Science is the mother of all faculties in the uh, um, university because it, it used to uh, host all science disciplines in the university, for example, it is uh, the uh, um, first steps for uh, medical students and uh, agricultural students and animal science students. And they used to come here and study for one year in the faculty of science, then they go to their um, faculties and then uh, start their specialist. And, uh, we, 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 we focus in the faculty in teaching science as an updated discipline. So we have uh, various and diverse disciplines and uh, our vision is to be leader in this field. The Faculty of Science now hosting uh, 
about 1,300 graduate students and around 500 postgrad students for master's, higher diploma, and PhD. For both undergrads and postgrads, uh, the, gen uh, the gender ratio is 75% female to 25% male. And now we have five departments and five units and two research stations. Uh, we have a botany department, chemistry department, geology, physics, and zoology. And uh, we have uh, some units, one for the electron microscope, for one for the uh, bioinformatics, one for microbial culture collection, and uh, center of excellence in molecular biology and cell biology. And we also have uh, Sawakin in the Red Sea area, Sawakin Research Station, and Sabalog Research Station in, uh, for geologists. Um, um, yes, there are some objectives, but mainly we are now uh, updating our uh, knowledge and we want to be more international, so we focus on internationalization, both internationalization by mobility or staff exchange and students exchange, and also home internationalization at home by bringing experts here to train and teach and also in, uh, to join uh, research and collaborate. In Africa, we have some collaboration, but now uh, the strongest one is uh, with um, the uh, a joint research with Ethiopia, for example, Uganda, Kenya, and uh, Egypt, of course. And uh, we have uh, some projects with IGAD in biodiversity, and we did a big achievement in this uh, uh, field. And also we have some international uh, collaboration with some countries in Europe, like uh, with Belgium, with uh, Netherlands, and also with Germany and uh, the Department of Physics, for example, they have a, a very good or strong relation with South Africa, and some of the staff graduated or get their degrees, high degrees, MSc and PhD degrees from South Africa, and we used to host some experts from uh, South African universities to teach our undergrad and postgrad students here. Uh, I wish that the faculty one day be, uh, become one of the uh, leading faculties in Sudan and also in Africa and of course in the world. And because we believe that science should be disseminated and should be uh, um, shared. Yes, my name is uh, Abdel Halim Hassan Al Nadi, a professor of geology at the Department of Geology. Faculty of Science, University of Khartoum. Current programs in the department concerning the teaching level, we graduate students with different uh, orientations, like in geophysics, hydrogeology, economic geology, petroleum geosciences, and engineering geology. This is at the level of the uh, university uh, graduates. As far as for the uh, postgraduate studies, uh, the department also is concerned with the supervising MSCs and PhDs in the different disciplines of geology. Uh, mainly, problems are taken uh, from Sudan, mainly. Uh, but some of them are sent abroad and they can uh, research uh, on local uh, pro research problems. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the achievements of the department can be summarized as follows. Uh, we graduate students in the different disciplines of geology and they take part in the uh, go governmental and private uh, sector activities in the various uh, disciplines of geology. That is one thing. The other thing, also we qualify postgraduate stu post students with MSCs and PhDs so that as well they can uh, collaborate with the other universities, whether in the capital here or in our side Khartoum and uh, also they contribute in the activities of their respect, um, uh, respective uh, departments and ministries and uh, in that respect the Department of Geology uh, helped to qualify uh, tens if not more than that of, of uh, PhD holders and MCC holders and uh, they contributed effectively 
in the devel developmental schemes uh, in the country. Also, we provide higher degrees by courses for MSc, again in the various uh, disciplines of geology. Well, the, the, the staff is, is concerned with the geology of Sudan at first, and they usually provide the uh, research students with uh, problems so that they can research in. Uh, but some students come with their own problems as well, uh, so that it can be a sort of applied research or problem-solving research to help or to uh, provide uh, those ministries and uh, departments with solutions for their problems. The, the research findings, uh, well, they, they help in, uh, for example, in construction engineering, they provided the concerned departments with information on the geotechnical properties of the area where there are constructions, roads, uh, bridges, high-rise buildings. Uh, this is considered as far as the engineering geology. But they contribute effectively uh, in the petroleum industry, whether for uh, prospecting, exploration, and uh, even for the exploitation of the oil reserves. Also, they contributed effectively in the mineral wealth, especially gold uh, mineralization, copper mineralization, and the rest of the minerals. So the department actually acts as, um, uh, as a consultant center in collaboration with the consultancy or, uh, department of the university as a whole. And uh, they have got uh, good reputation, I mean the staff and the graduates of the department. At our times, when we graduated, uh, we get jobs immediately, uh, in the first month of graduation. But uh, after the opening of so many universities, then we have hundreds of graduates in geology every year, about 500 of them. So the jobs are actually limited as far as the government is concerned, but the graduates now find uh, opportunities in the uh, private sector, in the companies that are now prospecting and exploring mineral wealth. Also, the non-governmental organizations uh, used to appoint our graduates, whether in hydrogeology, whether in uh, environmental studies, whether in construction activities. So uh, you can say that uh, the employment uh, level a bit lowered, but still we hope that uh, by the advent of, uh, uh, of the government towards the mineral wealth and petroleum wealth, new jobs can be created. Uh, the department collaborates effectively uh, with other institutions in Sudan. Uh, for example, we graduate students who work at teaching assistants, we qualify postgraduate students to get MSCs and PhDs so that they contribute to the teaching activities of the newly established universities. This is one thing. As far as uh, outside Sudan, you know, uh, the staff members uh, uh, usually uh, collaborate and even um, uh, share uh, research activities that is done either by other African geologists or by attending and contributing to regional and international conferences on geology aspects. As far as the department uh, future plans, actually it started in 1958. Uh, until then we are still a department. But we are uh, now fighting to upgrade and um, do some sort of academic reform and to try to get funds so that we can grow into a, a school, if not a separate faculty. But you know that needs a lot of uh, funding and a lot of uh, qualifying of the staff members and laboratories and the rest of the thing. I'm Dr. Al-Wasir Abdurrahman Al-Khalifa, Department of Chemistry, Faculty of Science, University of Khartoum. Currently, I'm the head of the department. I specialize in inorganic chemistry, mainly in catalysis. Uh, the Department of Chemistry offers different uh, program. This is with regard to the undergraduate and postgraduate as well. For the undergraduate level, we are offering BSCC honors degree in chemistry. 
It is a five-year program. Uh, this includes like uh, each batch around 70 students. And for the postgraduate studies, the department offers four different programs. The department offers a postgraduate diploma in chemistry and two different programs for the MSCC. One is MSCC by courses and the current batch around also 70 students and also offers MSCC by research. In addition to this, the department also offers PhD program in chemistry. The Department of Chemistry, University of Khartoum Faculty of Science, it is like the first Department of Chemistry here in Sudan. So it leads all the department here in the country. Uh, it offers the society with so many different uh, manpower in regard to the field of chemistry. You can find them in every university in Sudan, in different institutions here in Sudan, also they are participating. In addition to this, is also uh, participate in uh, qualifying the staff of other universities in Sudan. The department offer different uh, research uh, or di different fields of research. It covers all branches of chemistry, from inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical chemistry, and physical chemistry. Also, it uh, co collaborate with different uh, research institutions in Sudan also by qualifying their manpower that in, the, in these institutions. The outcome of this research is participating in creating the overall pool here in Sudan. So the many publications are coming out from this department and so on. The Department of Chemistry, through its graduates, in fact, uh, give a very uh, useful service to the society, to the institution here, because the chemistry graduates are, there's a very uh, increasing demands. We have, there's so many facilities in Sudan, in the petrochemical industry, in mining industry, all these fields need chemists to be there. So they offer a very good opportunity to the different parts in the country to make use of these graduates. For, for strengthening the ties with other institutions here in Sudan, and with institutions outside the country, actually there is many ties with institutions in Sudan and with institutions out of Sudan. This is done through the uh, staff member in the Department of Chemistry. We do have many actually. Uh, we got some collaboration with uh, South African uh, universities, uh, some got some in German universities and so on. The, we are looking actually to increase our standards to, uh, to improve our quality of our graduates and to save more and more in our country and also for the countries other than Sudan, of course. The nucleus of the university was established in 1902 as Gordon Memorial College. With respect to science, the graduates were expected to teach science in schools. Uh, that was and they graduate with a diploma. That was up to 1937. Then in 1939, they promoted the qualification of the graduate by offering a diploma or a BSc science according to the, their scores. Uh, this carried on till 1955 when all the graduates became uh, graduates with uh, PhD in science. Because there is zoology, botany, geology, etc. At that time, the geography was part of this department, of this faculty, as well as the Department of Mathematics, which became the Faculty of Mathematical Science, segregated from the, from the Faculty of Science in the early 90s. Uh, the, the history of the university of this, uh, I mean the history of the Faculty of Science uh, was 
basically to graduate teachers then the, uh, the mission changed to graduate uh, researchers who work in the different departments of the government, such as the wildlife department, fisheries department, uh, agricultural corporation, and geological research institutes. Uh, uh, the faculty was honored several times by visitors, Nobel Prize visitors. Three Nobel Prize visitors came to the chemistry department taught courses and they examined the graduate students. As, uh, for example, Crick and Watson, after the discovery of the double helix, and they have been conferred Nobel Prize for that. Yeah, at the same year, they came and stayed for about a uh, month in this faculty. Professor Ahmed Zuhair also when he was uh, uh, given a uh, Nobel Prize in chemistry, the university invited him to, to visit the chemistry and give some talks and lectures. Uh, the Department of Zoology, for example, was the first department in Sudan to establish an international MSCC course for medical students who came from Africa and Middle East and the Far East. Uh, it has a long history in that, uh, in, in such activities. The Faculty of Science also had established many links with international universities and institutes. For example, Hamburg Institute of Zoology, uh, University of uh, London, uh, University College of Berbick. We have uh, so many links with Japan, China, Malaysia. Unfortunately, we as an Africans, we don't have such links with each other, with African universities. This is what we need if we want to promote collaboration and science in Africa. We, as an African, we need to collaborate together. In the past, we used to offer undergraduates uh, uh, scholarships for Africans from Uganda, and, uh, from uh, Nigeria, from uh, South Africa. Now, nowadays, because we, we retreated, we changed our teaching from English to Arabic. That's why only people from Somalia and Arabic-speaking countries come to uh, accept such uh, scholarships to come and read in Sudan. Well, in the Zoli department, you have two main lines of research, pure zoology and applied zoology. The applied zoology research contributes a lot in promoting the fishery sector, uh, combating diseases such as uh, systemiasis, uh, malaria, uh, and uh, ismeniasis. We have, these are the main branches in applied zoology research. The pure zoology research addresses the interests of the individuals who mostly seek, the, seek to work outside Sudan. They come and study biochemistry, physiology, or any job creating uh, opportunities, the secret job creating opportunities in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf, uh, Gulf, uh, Gulf uh, Arab Gulf states. Uh, we have uh, also promoted the cause of EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment in Sudan. We contributed as individuals working in the Department of Zoology in more than 70 EIA studies related to 
petroleum industry, construction of dams, construction of high, uh, highways between different cities, and major agricultural schemes. We are, also, we are always invited as zoologists to submit and contribute in such activities. Yeah, uh, we, uh, for example, uh, last mon month the university made uh, a festival to, uh, to honor the distinguished researcher at the university. Five of, uh, seven of uh, the Zool, uh, staff members of Zolgi has been given model, uh, medals and uh, some dollars for their activity in research and publications. We have a lot of, uh, we have contributed a lot to science, especially in the field of systematics. At least the department contributed in identification of and finding of 20 new species to science. This is, I think, the most uh, bright side of the research. I myself I have established a new parasite, uh, named, I named it after myself. In the department, there are three main uh, specializations. The, that uh, biochemistry and physiology, this is one. And uh, two, uh, taxonomy and uh, ecology. And three, microbiology and uh, genetics. Besides the program of the baccalaureate, we have a uh, master's degree and uh, PhD uh, degree. Uh, all of these, uh, the master and PhD, uh, are in the research programs and not in uh, courses uh, programs. Uh, the three different uh, specializations that in ecology and taxonomy, so we have uh, about 15 or uh, 16 disciplines uh, in uh, between this. So the microbiology as general or in genetics as general or in ecology as general or in taxonomy as general or in, in the uh, physiology, biochemistry, medicinal plants and uh, so so many programs. Yes, yes, uh, uh, we have published the papers. So, uh, all of this, uh, after uh, the program, uh, they finished their program, then they uh, uh, submit some papers to the uh, national uh, journals or to the international journals. Uh, so, they uh, get this. Uh, yes, some of them are employing the uh, Country, others they go outside, and we have some uh, students uh, from outside also in the department. Give more and more in the, to uh, for the science, uh, for the uh, to help the country in the different uh, uh, fields uh, that are linked to the, uh, our specialization. So in the microbiology or in the uh, genetics for for new strains, uh, so uh, or for the uh, physiology and biochemistry or the uh, different fields that can uh, give help for the country. Basically, we've got uh, the BSc, the, ba the ba bachelor degree in physics, which is um, with honors degree. Uh, usually, usually, the students get it in five years. Um, uh, in different um, disciplines, kind of, uh, experimental and theoretical. So our graduate kind of uh, 
having a broad uh, knowledge of all physics. Well, in terms of achievements, um, uh, the, the, the department achieves uh, is the quality of the graduates that we have. Um, our graduates, they find they, we kind of uh, produce in different uh, uh, number of graduates for the Sudanese universities here, for uh, to work in the high schools, and also some of them they go outside overseas to do their uh, postgraduate researches. We also contribute to the research in, in, in different fields. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the theoretical and, and the experimental um, side. Not, not only here, but also in the regional um, area. Well, again, the research in physics, if I want to talk about it, uh, let me talk about the history of, of research here in the, at the physics department. The physics department used to be leading in um, experimental uh, physics. And that is because we've got uh, different techniques, different laboratories, we're uh, well, kind of well equipped, uh, dating back from the 1940s up to 1990s, around, around that. So we were kind of leading in the nuclear f physics field. Um, uh, recently, most of the faculty members at the physics department are oriented toward the theoretical. Uh, moreover, we've got uh, some of the researchers, they do research in the astrophysics, uh, but we've also got some activities in the um, experimental, again. Um, we do, we're kind of uh, oriented also to do some um, electronic research. Uh, we contribute to this by, to, to, to the research by um, yeah, publishing in journals. Um, we also organize uh, different of activities here at the department. Uh, for example, we've got um, two activities recently. Uh, one of them is a cartoon workshop for material sciences, uh, which has been um, a collaboration between our faculty members and uh, the International Center for Theoretical Physics in Italy uh, and the Sultan Kabos uh, from uh, Oman. Uh, they come here, they make a kind of a research activity, which is a workshop. Uh, we accommodate um, uh, researchers and students from uh, local universities, University of Khartoum, of course, and from Africa as well. Uh, the, co the collaboration with, with other staff members locally and internationally is quite important for us, uh, which, which is the main, uh, the main thing behind pushing the research um, forward. Uh, we've got different collaborations, as I mentioned earlier, um, locally with, with some universities, uh, Sudan University, Africa University here in Sudan, uh, Nilen University, um, in different fields. Um, but also um, uh, the regional and the international collaboration is still going. And, and, and uh, I, I mentioned from that we've, we've got a collaboration with uh, researchers from South Africa, uh, from Italy and from Oman, from UK, from different countries I'd say. We hope a lot of things. Uh, to, to, we'd like to see the department really active in different in many, many uh, fields that we, we, we're not, we, we cannot see due to um, fund shortage. Uh, in terms of fund, we have literally no fund coming from the state to, to the university or to develop research. Um, I would ho up, I hope that um, the state some, some, some time or, uh, that look to to develop the experimental um, equipments at the physics department, knowing that it's very, very costly to, to, to run these kind of uh, laboratories.